We were oh, Paul, Nate, right. come on, kid. Yeah, 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 Nate, you can't bring your hips up. It's flat, coach. Hey, He's hey, like, oh, hey, that hey, is hey, a hey, band. Hey, I'm not allowed to crossfoot? That's no. a band. Oh, oh my God. That looks like a band. Hey, he's good. It's like oh, Pinochle. So, uh, Pinochle. Have you ever played Pinochle, Kyle? <laughs> huh? Hey, hold it, Kyle. It's really he's a pretty good game. Kyle. Kyle, he's oh, he's mean? Plays hold it, Kyle. Kyle, you play Pinochle, right? You get you get your ace, your king, your queen. Ten. <laughs> it's the stories that kill everybody. It's the stories. Because he just starts talking. He just starts talking. He's not just not just starts screaming. Oh, Nelly. Nelly just won't tell funny. you. Rudy will break you down with a story. Oh, shoot. Community outreach for our football team is a vital part about growing our program. Fan Fest and that youth football night is such an important and vital part of our season and our football program. Big thanks to everybody for coming out this evening. Hope you had a great time. We'll see you at the Alaris next Thursday. You loved all of it? That's what I like to do. Give me some, baby. Thanks for coming out. Good. Let's just start with a quick introduction, even though we met you in the spring. Yep. If you want to reel that off right into the middle. Cool. I'm Everett Williams. I'm from Mansfield, Texas. I am a graduate transfer from the University of Minnesota. My name is Jacob Odom. I'm from Wheaton, Illinois, and I'm a true freshman quarterback here in North Dakota. Coming out as a graduate transfer, I knew I only had one shot, um, and I wanted to make, make sure it was the right place for me. So I came here, came on a visit, felt like I was at home. There's great people here that will take you under their wing. Um, great fans, great student, student body here, great coaches. Um, everything just exceeds expectations of what you want as a student athlete. I feel like I've just been working hard and just developing a voice for this team and just being able to step out as more of a leader. I'm an older guy, so I mean, been around a lot of football and know how things go. So I feel like I've progressed a lot. I think every freshman's goal when they get up here is, is to play. You know, every, every true competitor wants to get on the field and they want to play. So, you know, when I first got up here, I mean, that was a goal, that was a plan. I knew I was capable of doing it. Um, so it was really just a matter of being able to put in the work beforehand, before I got up here, and being prepared um, and doing as much as I could in order to see the field. So fall camp was a great experience, you know, being able to compete with some high-level guys, guys like John, Dion, Brady, you know, guys that you see and hear about, being able to actually be there and compete with them is a great experience and just be able to learn from them is awesome. I don't think it's hit me yet, you know, that I'll be playing in my first collegiate football game. It's just like Christmas to a kid, like I'm ready to play tomorrow and I'm just anxious. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get her going. Let's bring the guys in, all right? We must respect our opponent that's coming in. That's a must. You got that? And I always get concerned because I know you guys are hearing some of the same things that I'm hearing. Hey, we don't know anything about them. It's this, it's that. And some people are sarcastic about that. We can't get caught up in that game. This is a team with a new head coach that's creating a lot of excitement in their program. And they're gonna come in here with something to prove. So we gotta be ready for that. And how do you get ready for that? You keep the focus on us, how we prepare.
Go be sharp now. Be sharp. You just notice it's different once you get into game week when you're actually preparing for an opponent. There seems to be an intensity level that picks up, a focus level that picks up. They're just a different level of energy, different level of focus. Game week is more, is more focused on who we're playing against. And I say early in fall camp, we're focused on getting the plays now, repetition, repetition, and now it's just focusing on our opponent and focusing on what we can do and what we can control. I mean, the intensity level in practice, the intensity level from coaches has all risen since the first week of full camp. They put a lot more pressure on you, but pressure either busts pipes or makes diamonds. So, you know, when it's game time, you have to be ready, and the coaches do a great job of preparing us for that. You know, the one thing that's different for us this year, opening up at home since 2013, we haven't done this, so this is really exciting for our football program, and our guys are really excited to get out there to our home field and get a chance to compete. For me, I'm really excited to get back on the field. The pad's going to be uh, strapped on tight. I'm about to be hitting as hard as I can. I know I'm prepared for it, or I wouldn't be in this position, so I'm excited for it. It's going to be fun. Can't wait for this Thursday. We've put in a ton of work, a ton of work, and just now that we get to see what our hard work has paid off, it'll be worth it. I'm ready. It's been two years since I played football. I love this game so much, I just, I don't want to stop playing it. And to be able to play with my brothers, just at a high level, it means the world to me. So I'm just, I'm just ready for this moment. So 